Welcome back to our study of American government. In this unit, we're going to be looking at the presidency. On April the 30th, 1789, George Washington took the oath of office, becoming the first president of the United States. He was keenly aware of a number of things, but as the first president, he was very much aware of what he would do in the office would establish a president. Not only a president for the office itself of president, but also for the institution of the presidency. Uh, since George Washington, the first president, we have had 43 men to fill the office of president of the United States over a period of 224 years. George Washington was a much beloved president. However, among the 43 men who have followed him, some have not been loved, but rather loathed. Some were very effective as George Washington was, others not so effective. We're going to take a look today as we begin our study in this chapter at the foundations of the modern presidency. We're going to look through time and look at some of the changing conceptions of the office of the presidency. We're going to look at the need our nation has established over time for a strong president. Then we're going to take a look at the staffing of the office of the presidency. We'll look at the uh, VP office uh, for a moment. We'll also look at the cabinet. We'll look at the White House office. We'll look at the executive office of the president. All of these making up the presidency. Then we're going to take a look at factors in presidential leadership. Those things that make or break a president. What are the circumstances that the president will have to face? What is his term of office? Is it his first term, his second term? How is effective? How effective can he be in a first term over a second term? Where, where is he in his term of office? Is he in that first hundred days, which we sometimes refer as the honeymoon period, when everybody is wishing him well and trying to uh, ensure his success? Or is he later into his term, where uh, he has developed uh, antagonists, not only in his party or many times in the opposite party for sure. And then we're going to close this chapter by taking a look at what's been termed the illusion of presidential government. With that introduction, let's take a look at the presidency.